Alright, so you know what time it is. It's the old spicy check time. So give me a moment while I do that. Uh, hang on. Alright, so checking now. Jump. Oh, no, wait, he didn't jump. 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 Yeah, seems good. Uh, dive, dive, pick up banana, throw, dive, dive, dive. Now, we gotta adjust them there, soundables. Let me see how this. Oh God! Let me see how this sounds in comparison to my voice. What do you think? Is this good? Does this sound all right? I might turn it down just a little bit. Let me, let me see it. Oh, God! Okay, so checking, checking, test, regular voice. It might be good, probably good, um, maybe. Yeah, sure, why not? Now let me just switch to the actual the jig and pull up the chat and we'll be good to actually go for real.
Okay, I gotta pull up the chat. I really should have done this beforehand, but it wouldn't be me if I didn't forget something. Ask anybody, my memory is about as good as... Well, it's not good. That's all I know to say. There's nothing to compare it to because nothing reaches that specific level of awful. Now, where is the chat? There it is. I found it. It was hiding from me. Okay. Okay, so let's just reset back to the title screen. Because this game's opening is pretty cool. I don't think that's good. We were using that to navigate. Welcome to the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Delfino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Oh. All this and more await you on Isle Delfino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Nah, that could be anybody. Men, am I right, ladies? Super Mario Sunshine! Alright, Mario Sunshine. A game that needs no introduction, but I gave it one anyway. And I just figure that since it's the dead middle of summer right now, more or less, then I will play the Sunshine game. Now you may think to yourself, to me, Dustin, didn't you say you were going to do this like a million years ago? And the answer is yes. Rumble on, even though it doesn't matter because I'm using a wave bird. Alright, subtitles sh should be on, I think. Alright. Let's get started. Alright, Peach is having heat stroke. Seeing mirages. I'm concerned with the well being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Nobody gave you permission to be British. Langton. Alright. So, Mario 64, we're playing with a GameCube controller now, and we have analog camera. 
Wow, a 3D Mario game with analog camera. Who would have thought? Oh, hey, look, and you have 360 degrees of movement. Take that, DS. And you can also do this. Which I will be doing constantly throughout this entire playthrough, so be prepared for that. This is not negotiable. Let's see what these guys gotta say. Oh. Oh, yep. You can do a spin jump now for maximum stick clacking. Controls are very tight in this game. Yeah, mostly just tutorial things they're telling me. I didn't know if they had any flavor text. That's kind of a mixture of both. Flavor text that is also a tutorial. So, although it's called a map, this is really more of a... a totals chart that tells you, like, how much you got in every area. Very useful. Very useful to know and to have with you at a glance. dynamic camera angles just so you get the point oh this water pump right here power up complete thank you for purchasing this item from gab science incorporated preparing to register customer information oh look Scanning at look at it look at the bottom left data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer ultra dousing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button. I, I know. I know. I played this game before, please. All the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control yes, stick I know. to aim in any direction. Yeah, if you hold the R button all press the way the down. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty... This is the only Nintendo button. console that has had analog to triggers and I still do not understand why. And press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. Nintendo practically invented these things, and they refused to use them again. So we can shoot the water. GameCube games in general had like a weird fixation on water and cleaning. Well, I mean, the water kind of makes sense because it was the dolphin, but uh, L Luigi got his game and he was, it was all about, you know, vacuum and stuff. Actually, if I recall right, I could be wrong, but if I recall right, I think the classic controller didn't actually have analog buttons, they just felt like it, but I could be mistaken about that. So they were kind of fake analog. Also, name dropped, Professor Egad. Yeah, Egad used to be all the rage. Man, he was in like this game, 
you know, like they introduced him in uh, Luigi's Mansion. He was in this game. He was in Mario and Luigi for a long time. He was in a bunch of the Mario and Luigi games, or at least two of them. Oh, foreshadowing. See, like, look, I can do this and then switch to this. Alright, so look, look. Slightly press. Slight, slightly press, just a little bit. More press, more press. And I can run around. Or like, do this. Do this a little more like, well, it's not one to do for him. But yeah, do this. And then you can aim it all with one push of one button. Yeah, Nintendo just doesn't use them again. They just don't want to do it. And it's that guy. I don't know what those guys are called. They look like they would be called Paint Piranhas. Splendido. Nice work, Valeria. Hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am Flood. Glad to meet you. Hi, someone's coming. is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario! Objection! Overruled! I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Elfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. I object on the grounds that this is a flimsy video game plot. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. Yeah, that's them things we're gonna collect. Numbers at the shine gate. But the Graviti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. I'm being framed Tomorrow, for a we crime we didn't commit. This situation. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Go straight that way. You can't miss the mess, pal. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, 
will be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Voices could have stood to be a little louder there. But finally, introduced to our hub world officially and not, you know, while I was testing latency. And, as everyone in the free world has noticed, this is the first and pretty much last Mario game to feature extensive voice acting. And some of the voices are quite interesting indeed. It is quite obvious! Uh, and uh, since it's just such a low-hanging fruit, I won't even talk about the quality of Mario's trial. Ahoy, SpongeBob! I am going to be hanged for my multiple crimes against humanity. Ag -ag -ag -ag. There's a thing here. I know it. I know it's here. Where is it? Oh, is it like over here? It's here. I know it is. You can just barely see it, I think. Unless it's not here yet. But I imagine it should be. But there it is, there it is. Just wanted to do that real quick. And you know, just... Just before we do our actual mission, let's just uh, run over here and grab this. Because I know it's there. Normally, you would possibly take entire days to find this. Maybe. But, you know, it's just... Once you know it's there, it's just like the easiest thing in the universe to get. Now please, enjoy the introductory cutscene once more. You know, they don't know that I'm not an axe murderer. I mean, I'm not going, I'm not going to do anything to you, but just to let you know I could, Mr. Pianta. You know, actually, in fact, get wet, sucker. Get wet, shoplift a banana. Hey, princess, you want a banana split? Now, nah, come on, it's, it's, it'll be great. Here, have a banana. No, you, you cad, you absolute buffoon. It is shaped like an octopus. Oh, he doesn't even give, he doesn't even give me anything. Oh, okay, don't, don't spray. You just, uh, you know, mash the R button a whole bunch. It's fine, don't worry about it. And what, what are these things named again? Goobles? I think they're Goobles. the most annoying yet not actually dangerous enemy in the game.
Jesus, look! On the statue's head! Of course. It was Mario.exe all along. Oh, here we go again. Of course, I'll wet him. What an efficient way to stop crime and not at all my fetish. I hope it's not his fetish. Otherwise, this will be humorously ineffective. Hey, Mario's not allowed to talk. Oh. Okay, now, we must spray the M. That is the first initial of my name. So, of course, I have the power to enter it. And every level in this game is, like, has some kind of Italian word in it. And this one translates to white, I think. White Hills. Why they decided to wait this long to put Italian words in it, I don't know. But, I mean, as you can see, White Hills is pretty apt. No, that wasn't me, that was my doppelganger of an alternate race. You'd think they would notice that his skin color is significantly darker than mine. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> one big difference for better or worse in this game versus Mario 64 is that this game is a lot more linear. Whereas in Mario 64, you could kind of just tackle the missions in any order you wanted. You could go into a mission and get a completely different star than you expected. In this game, you're pretty much stuck getting the Shine Sprite you chose. With very few uh, exceptions to that. Also, the Sprite in their name kind of implies there are some variant of Fairy. But I don't know, they never seem very sentient to me. They always kind of just seemed like sun tokens. They don't seem like they're actually living creatures. I mean, sure they have eyes on them, but what in the Mario universe doesn't? Now, the one exception to the, uh, you know, have to do the mission you chose rule is, uh, I'm gonna show you. You see that guy up there? You know that guy. Well, actually, turns out, you can just kind of skip. Oh, well, if you do it right. You can kind of just skip actually collecting this Shine Sprite and just go right on to the next one. Though it still kind of requires you do this mi- Well, maybe not. There's probably a better way to get up here. But you can just kind of, uh, continue up the hill. But, you know, for the sake of it, I'm sure you'll take my word for it. I'm just going to grab this one. But this is pretty much the only time you can do a Shine Sprite out of order. Well, maybe not the only time, but it's one of one of the only times. Oh yeah, there are 100 coin missions. Those That technically counts, I suppose. Oh, and we already opened up the next level. But I'm not done with this one yet. Or I don't know, maybe I should, like, be more... 
I don't know. Maybe I should be more, like, unexpected with this one compared to how I usually play 3D Mario games. It's my propaganda poster. There's a lot of things you can do in Isle Delfino. But also not as much as you could yet. There's just a lot going on, and there's a lot you can't mess with yet, but you will. And there's a blue bird. And you may wonder why I'm trying to wet this blue bird. Well, I assure you, I have my reasons. Mm. Sorry. Yes, I wet the bird, and it turned into money. This works with real birds. Try it. So, let's just, uh, let's go over here and deal with this guy. Hold on just a moment, while I, uh, clear my throat and die. Oh, he's back! He's back for more! I actually forgot he did that for a second. All right, so we can go in here. The Tanuki man. Welcome, welcome. I suppose you're here for that. Mm, yes, very good. That means I'll require 10 blue coins from you. You get nothing. Good day to you, sir. You stole fizzy lifting drink. Oh yeah, and there's a level on the side of this guy's house. And we will go in it. I forget what Rico means. Gooper blooper breaks out. But I really like the atmosphere of this level. Very nice. It's a very nice harbor. Look at that slimy water. It's gross. A lovely port is ruined. Something's fishy in the freight area at the end of the port. I can't quite see it from here, but I'm sure of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't actually mean to wet you. You're cool. But sometimes it just happens. Sometimes you get caught in the crossfire. So you will learn in time that blue coins are kind of everywhere and hidden in very obnoxious and obtuse places. I'm probably gonna go for 100%, but maybe not all of it on stream. I might, uh... Oh. Oh, these bloopers have been harvested. I don't know if you actually get something for this, but... Like I said, there's very obtuse <laughs> Rico is short for Ricardo Milos Milos. How do you, I don't know how to say that. Oh, sorry. Like I said, crossfire. And then there's an M up here. The M stands for maybe you'll find it. So I remember glitching this uh, grate, but I forget how. How how meaningful? I I remember glitching this, but I don't remember how or what what even happened or how I did it. Amazing. But as you can see, 
I have found the M, so it's okay. Also, sometimes blue coins only show up in one mission, so that's fun. I like it when that happens. Blooper. The blooper man is here. He's here in town today. Oh, no, give me, give me, give me my blue. My azure coin. I don't know why I said azure. Like it's, uh... No, actually, I'm thinking of a different thing. Maybe it, maybe that is, actually. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. I'm just an insane old man. There's another M. The M's are plentiful. The M harvest has been very plentiful this year. There's too much, there's too much, there's too much black paint here. We're trying to run an establishment. We can't have that. I may take entirely longer than necessary to look around the level. Now, the one thing that kind of stinks, though, is that... As a YouTuber, Nitro Fred, said in one of his videos, unlike Mario 64, where you just needed to get 70 uh, stars, and the origins of those stars did not matter in the slightest, in this game, you kind of have to get very specific shine sprites. So, like, the blue coin shine sprites don't actually have much of a point to them, if you think about it really hard. Also, if, unless I'm mistaken, Right? In there? You're just gonna want to spray random things with water. Like water, just wet everything. That's my advice to you. And not just in this game, in, in life. Oh, that's a shadow. Okay. I'm pretty sure that I am not going to be getting, like, the X ones always have a blue coin pop out somewhere else, and I'm pretty sure that I am not equipped to be able to get that one yet. I could be wrong. What do you gotta say? What in the blazes is this stuff? I can't even get my work done. Well, I mean, it's mostly gone. I took, I mostly took care of it. Don't be a baby. Don't be a weenie. Oh, there's an M in there. You know what that means. We're going back. We're going back. We're doing it again. I should have gone in the boat after all. Unless it's, it's, uh, outside. No, it's right there. Step on a blooper, get an M, all in a day's work. Keep the M's a flowing. Keep them plentiful and meaty. Oh, the Goobles heard I was talking crap. Now they're after me. All right, now back, back to what we were doing. I mean, should we explore the rest of the? No, oh! I fell off the boat. Mario and Re-Mario jumped off a boat. I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like we should probably explore. Like, there's blue coins, man. The, the shine sprites they give you do absolutely nothing, but I still want it. Can one really blame me for my desire of blue currency? Oh no, the worst enemies in the game. The absolute worst enemies in the this or any video game. Actually, that's not even remotely true. I'm sorry. I saw that blue coin over there on the lighthouse, but I have chosen to ignore it. But only for now. See, like, you, you're supposed to go through here. You know, you can, you can go through here, you know, climb the walls. Or you can just, you know, not do any of that. Just not... <laughs> my big bro over there, see him? He's been practicing throwing people. 
It's got a ways to go, but practice makes perfect. Oh, that guy? Yeah, I know that guy. I know you. I heard that you can raise this up by spinning that thing. But how in the world are you supposed to do that? You don't happen to know, do you? I don't know, man. I just got here, man. I've only been here for like five minutes. You want me to toss you all the way across the port? Sorry, but I don't have that kind of power yet. Oh, well, don't worry, bud. You'll get there. You'll get there, man. Just keep practicing. Oh, oh. Shwoke. Save after every single blue coin that you possibly can get. Also, look at these weird guys. They're like, they're like a, they're like the bloop, an octopus blooper, and they turn into a platform because you know, why not? Why not? Can you give me one good reason why they shouldn't do that? Oh, there's a crate. Crate cannot be broken with head alone. Oh, well, not good enough. They're like, oh, nope. There's crates blocking it. You gotta take the long way. Oh, well, maybe you don't. Let me see. Yeah, they're like, crates are blocking it. You gotta take the long way around. You gotta do things the hard way. You gotta take the... Oh... Uh, you gotta take the long way, and I'm just like, I'm just like, screw you, I do what I want, I do what I want! <laughs> Except I already kind of took the long way anyway, but I've taken every way. Take every possible path, all at once. Stomp bloopers, get money. The manhole thing was just so was so weird when you really think about it. I really do hope they're at work on an Odyssey 2. Because, like... Yeah, the thing I mentioned about this game being a lot more linear than um, Mario 64... Yeah, Galaxy honestly made that even worse. And before anybody tries to kill me, and I know because I've, I've gotten numerous attempts on my life from him for implying that Galaxy was anything less than amazing, but I don't know, Galaxy's just a, it could have been a little better, I think, if it was a less linear. You know, Galaxy's still good, but, you know, it's not a perfect game by any means. But, uh, yeah, it took until Odyssey, I feel, for them to really kind of start making Mario games as open as 64. Like, even this one, you're kind of locked into, like I said, you're mostly locked into a specific mission once you start it. Ah! <laughs> oh, I missed! But, uh... Yeah, I just... But I feel like the one thing is, while Odyssey's levels are very open, very explorable. Um, the level structure is very linear. Like, Well, not the structure of the levels, the level progression, I mean to say. Because, like, while you have a ton of freedom in the actual levels, you don't get a lot of choice in which levels you actually go to and in what order, whereas Mario 64, you could just kind of pick and choose. You could kind of just, you know, do them in a lot of different orders and whatnot. And then Mario Odyssey is basically just like, okay, would you rather go to the the butt kingdom or the super butt kingdom? And it's like, gee, thanks, Odyssey. And it's like, oh, well, you're going to uh, the butt kingdom anyway, so your choice, your choice only barely mattered.
Okay, I, I looked down, and I for a second I thought the fade out was my GameCube glitching out, and I was getting super terrified. All right, actual boss time. And I'm sure you all know this man. The group of loot. You anger him, you stomp on his tentacles, you pull him off, you rinse and repeat. I think you can get... No, actually, maybe not. I thought, I thought you could get, like, more than one at a time, but I might be mistaken. Yeah, a lot of my discs, uh, you know, I wasn't super careful with my GameCube games growing up, so I have, I have some experience with, uh, an error has occurred. So, pro tip, pro tip for anybody playing the GameCube, oh, this guy's not actually dead yet, by the way, um, pro tip for anybody playing the GameCube, make the distinction between... Um, an error has occurred and the disc has failed to be read. Because if an error has occurred... An error, if an error has occurred, yeah, you're pretty much sunk. But if the disc has not been read... I've learned that oftentimes... You can just take the disc out and put it back in and then it'll work again. So keep that in mind if you guys ever go back and play some GameCube games, which I'm sure you will. And anybody watching me probably has a good chance of doing that. But yeah, your disc failing to be read, not the end of the world, so be sure to give it a try. I mean, I know why you would think that you're ripping his face off, because, like... You're... you're ripping off his tentacles, like, that cannot be denied, you're doing that. But don't worry, they grow back. They grow back. Weirdly enough, though... This game disc, the Mario Sunshine disc I have, is borderline immaculate. Like, this is one of those discs that despite all the years I've had it, I don't think I've noticed a single flaw. Hmm, pardon me. I don't think I've noticed a single flaw on the disc. And yet, for some reason, when I stick it in my Wii, it refuses to, uh, rip the game. I did that with pretty much every other GameCube game, but weirdly enough, this one does not want to rip, even though the disc looks flawless, and I mean, you guys can attest that you haven't seen any errors yet. Also, you can do this now. Can't do that in Mario 64. Well, yeah, I guess it might not always work, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to give it a try if it happens. Nine times out of ten, it works for me, so worth the shot. Thankfully, or maybe unthankfully for you guys, the knockback when you have when you jump into a wall significantly lessened in effect, and I don't think it chains. Like, I don't think you can just, like, smack into a wall and then fall off a ledge and then fall off a ledge and then fall off a ledge. So, no, I don't think Mario fall down, falls down the stairs and dies is gonna happen again. But, I mean, Ninten Nintendo generally doesn't do that kind of level design in their games most of the time. Here, we can test it right here, probably. Well, it's not enough. Let's see. Gotta get enough momentum to actually do a dive. Harder than it harder than it sounds. Nope, I don't think I can get it to happen.
if you ever experienced music issues while playing Sonic Heroes, on GameCube, I assume, otherwise that would be a very, you know, out of nowhere question, out of very left field question. I mean, not that I mind, but, uh, I'm not gonna go in there yet. Uh, I don't remember having any issues, but it's also been a very long time since I played Sonic Heroes on GameCube. And I mean, even when I stream it, I'm probably not gonna play the GameCube version. And yes, I am going to stream Sonic Heroes eventually. I don't mean like in the near future, but let's be real, it will happen eventually. Also, I'm wasting a lot of time. But... I kind of just wanted to mess around the hub a second. Yeah, see, your first mistake was playing the PS2 version of Heroes. It is notoriously awful. I, I've never played it, but... I mean, the PS2 one, that is. Wet somebody's window. Satanic church music, you say. Well, son, I'm a little concerned, but I won't press it. Uh, now what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something. I had a plan here. Oh, yeah. So I want to show you guys something. I don't know if you know about this. Now you may think this is nonsense, and you'd be partially right, but hang on dudes, payoffs, payoff is huge. There you go. Of course, you cannot remain on the ground too long or you will die. So let's just go in the sewer here. Okay, let's go to Bianco Hills again. You know, maybe we could just alternate, like one mission, Bianco Hills. One mission, uh... You know, one mission, Bianco Hills, one, uh... Rico Harbor. Maybe we can keep things fresh that way. Just kind of alternate. Alright, down with Petey Piranha. Up with air. Dude, that happened like hours ago. It is. Well, probably. Actually, uh, don't, don't take my word on that. Yo. I'll be honest, these guys are pushy. They're loud and annoying, but I cannot hate them. They're just, look at them. They're just so, they're just so, they just got so much spunk. And like Egad, as I mentioned before, Piantas just kind of started showing up all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but they started showing up in a few places, like a thousand year door, in which they are the mafia. You know, for kids, for children, for babies. I mean, granted, that game also opens up with a noose. Like, that's the first thing you see when you enter Rogue Port proper, is a noose in the middle of town.
You know, I'm honestly shocked that the Piantas did not appear in Mario Odyssey. Like, with the Seaside Kingdom, you, you'd think there would have been at least one somewhere. I'm sorry, kid. But this is proprietary hardware. Yo, come here. I need to... I need to... So, like, were, were you, Miles, were you screaming what at the, the blue coin or the Mafia? I like that the Pianta children are just scaled down, uh, regular Piantas. <laughs> just, they're just pitched up. Look, I'm working. Come here. Come here. Let me teach you a thing or two. Let me tell you a thing or two. They can't get me for disturbing the peace! Oh yeah, and also the noose. Yes, uh... <laughs> I, I love to imagine, um... Like, alright son, you can't play Grand Theft Audio, so we got you this nice... You know, kid-friendly Mario game. And it opens with an actual public execution area. I'm telling you, man, before they sticker starred it all up, before they went and sticker starred. Did I say Grand Theft Audio? Uh, before they went and sticker starred, intelligent systems were, were on some crap, man, let me tell you. Pray the door. Nothing at the door. I mean, there's still some exploration to be done in this game. Turn the camera, please. I need... I require camera assistance. Yeah, Super Paper Mario is also a big culprit in the... Intelligent systems. What are you on? Kind of nonsense. And then Miyamoto was just like, All right, cut that out. You've gotten much too silly. All right, this is too silly. I stop being silly. <laughs> then again, uh, Super Mario Galaxy also contains spoiler alerts. If you don't want to hear this, wait about 10 seconds. Um, you know, the, the death and rebirth the, of the universe, so... That's, that's fun. You know, Mario games. Mario games got a little wild for a, for a while there. I hate to do this, but I need to use you for a little practice. Well, at least he apologized. Wait, come back. Come back. I wanna talk. Yeah, well, I mean, if you don't wanna talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to him. I mean, you can't make a guy talk if you don't wanna talk. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, and I think there's also things on top of this wall. Pianta's just like the throw stuff. Guys, throw in just their thing. I mean, everybody's got to have a hobby. And these guys, it's, it's throwing stuff. Also, ring the bells, get a one-up. Mario, dude. Mario. Mario. My sensors indicate you are sucking. Oh, there's one up there. Yeah, I think they do that in Mario 64, too. Uh, which has spawned quite a few things referred to as the Green Devil Challenge. 
where you have to spawn a one-up mushroom and then avoid it for as long as possible. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of just me getting blue coins, I hate to tell you. I'm gonna get as much as I can on stream, but if I miss any... Like, okay, let me put it this way. If I see one on stream, I'm gonna get it on stream. But, you know, if I, like, miss any, I'm probably not gonna bore you guys with all that. And I'll probably just, uh, get them off stream. But besides that... Besides that, this is pretty much going to be a 100%. Like, let me put it this way. I'm probably going to play to 100%, but you guys might not see all of it. <laughs> the last, like, 1% might be uh, just me on my own. Oops. Why do I suck so bad? And, and yeah, Miles is right. You can aim with the Y button. I actually did 100% 64 a while back, but uh, not on stream. On uh, real hardware. That being said, I've considered doing it again on stream. Like, I considered just going back to regular old Mario 64 and getting the rest, but... I mean, it's a simple typo, my good man. We all make them. It is sometimes it do be like that. They think it don't be like it is, but it do. Oh yeah, you can do that. The two are fake. But the the good thing about uh, the whole blue coin thing is that I won't be doing this every mission. It's kind of just, you want to explore around the level at least once. Just kind of, you know, see where there's some stuff. And then after that, you don't really have to worry about it as much. I mean, there are some that are only in certain missions, but I'm not worrying about them too hard. Like I said, I'll get them in post. Or maybe I'll even just get them, like, between... Between streams, I don't know. And then there's some, like, there might be some over that way. Also, this is really fantastic-looking water for the era of gaming that this was. I mean, look. Reflections and everything. I mean, granted, the game centers around water. You kind of want the water, if anything, to look good. But, I mean, I think this game honestly holds up visually like you just you can just upscale it a little bit and honestly I think it still looks great especially like the heat wave effect let me see if I can see it from here um not really maybe more maybe later in the game but like the heat wave effect off in the background looks very nice and yeah I that's why I kind of think that this game Maybe I'm mistaken. Like, uh, maybe I'm just, like, able to look past aged games better than some people. Or at least more. Maybe not better. But I don't know. I, I, I think it you know, still looks pretty good. Make the piranha plane explode. Yes, thank you, Mr. Flash ultra liquidizing liquid flash liquid device. Mm, pardon me. But yeah, I don't know. I think it looks good. You know, there's a lot of GameCube games I think have aged pretty well. Yeah, I think I can help with that. The only one we can. Have. I know it's a thing. one of the only guys in the entire game to be like, yeah, I know this isn't really in your job description, but uh. <laughs> Help, help her brother out. <laughs> but, I'm gonna shoot this bird. Shoot. 
I don't think this is one of those birds that gets you anything. Is there anything in here? I forget. You know, I would honestly, like, I, not even because, like, I think, oh, it would look so much better like this, but I would honestly love to, for people to just somehow sell Shade a bunch of GameCube games just to see what it would look like. Like, not even because I think, oh, it would look better. I just want to know, like, what it would look like in the first place. And then, likewise, I want to see what Wind Waker looks like without cell shading. I, saw, I almost had a stroke trying to say that. And here we are introduced to a Mario mainstay character, uh, plant in a swimsuit. <laughs> I love, I love that. I love the way they just look back up at each other. Okay, and now for one of the weirdest bosses in the Mario series, a franchise already filled to the brim with extremely bizarre bosses. Out of the Mario series, this, this game... This game has some of the weirdest in the Mario series. Like, I won't spoil it for if anybody watches this and they haven't, you know, seen them before. I mean, I think most of the people watching my channel probably will have seen Mario Sunshine at some point. But, you know, just to be safe. But they get pretty wacky. But he, this, this fella's up there. And like I said, he's a recurring character, too. You might recognize him from Super Princess Peach, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam, uh, what else, uh, Super, yeah, I already said Super Princess Peach, uh, what else was he in? Uh, Mario Kart. Uh, other stuff. He's in other games, but I'm not remembering what they are. But just trust me that he is. I think he was in the Paper Mario games that I haven't played and probably will Like, I played five minutes of Sticker Star. Well, not five minutes. I played up to, like, the desert area. Oh yeah, and he, he was in Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers Brawl, where he is actually the first boss you fight. Yeah, honestly, I feel like Mario Kart's kind of slacking on the characters. Oh, new stage. Alright, so... Guys, do we go to the new stage, or do we just stick to these two? I'll, I'll run around a sec while you tell me. Alright, he says no, He says new stage. The Milos. We'll, we'll be a bit more over the place. We'll be a bit more footloose and fancy free with Mario Sunshine than we were with the, the other 3D Marios I played. Alright, Toad is submerged in the goo. Toad, get out of there. Oh, he, he went back in. Well, we can at least... Unfortunately, this is playing, this is being played on real hardware, so even if there was a, a shine display, then I wouldn't be able to actually use it. I mean, I know that's a joke, but I figure I should give a genuine answer anyway. Yeah, click, click the R button. Reminds me that I gotta do some more smash. I mean, I don't got to, but I should, and I want to. Smash Brothers is good. Of course, hard mod my GameCube. Why didn't I think of that? Actually, now that I'm looking at Dead in the Eye, there's actually a mission right over here we can do that I forgot about until just now. I mean, not entirely, but I, I was planning on doing it, but then I didn't. 
I hope that doesn't undo the uh undo the the, the defeat the defeationating that I just did. So one of the most iconic parts of Sunshine is the SpongeBall challenge here. The floating block challenge. If we get to the bottom of the slide, then we earn a Goofy Goober token. Oh. No, please, Mario, don't die on this stage. I need my I need my gamer street cred. Okay, good. I didn't die on like the easiest challenge in the game. Oh, also, I posted this in Club Saturn, my Discord group. If any, if anybody who's not in it is watching this, hint, join it right now. Um, but I am getting my NES RGB modded, so I'll be able to do some NES streams on real hardware after a few weeks. So that'll be neat. Also, this guy is on fire. <laughs> Come on, dude, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Come on. Right, like this. Come on, man. Do it. Do it. All right, fine. I guess I'll help you with my j water jet pack. Thanks a bundle. And a blue coin is mine. Yeah, this guy's pretty much an idiot. Speaking of idiots, there's also a big one over here. Hang on, if you let me get to him real quick and then we'll go in the new stage. I don't know. I can go for more. Oh, also there's like news bulletins at the bottom of the screen that I've been ignoring. Dude, I realize the sun's not out, but it is like the middle of summer. I was shipwrecked and washed up here three years ago. I often think about the far shore, but I can't swim. I've never left this little island. Is that just awful? I want that life, even though lives are basically meaningless. No, actually, go away. Also, there's a pipe with the yellow on it. We cannot do anything with the yellow. It looks like maybe we can, but believe me, we can't. Can't do anything with that. <laughs> Not a dang thing can be done. All right, so now we just gotta take this, this time to swim back to shore. I'll make sure we get back to shore. How this works on sand, I don't know, but it does. Also good, he stays defeat. Also, I really like this level, in spite of some of the annoying missions that take place here. Gelato Beach, and I do know what this one means. It's gelato is a type of ice cream, or it might just mean ice cream in Italian. So this is Ice Cream Beach. Sounds like a Kirby level, but it's a Mario level. And then... We meet the Duck Boys. You know, back back when I was a kid, I hated those guys, but... And now, I feel like they're kind of annoying, but they're also the boys. So... Don't get the water dirty here. And don't step on the dune buds. Thanks for your cooperation. Yeah, but they're not, they're not really ducks, they're just kind of orbs. Oh, it is only a hologram. Gee, that logo looks a little familiar, a little bit. Professor E. Gadamus. I'll have to stream Luigi's Mansion one of these days. As soon as I walk up this tree, maybe. Uh... Hopefully we can uh, do some Luigi's Mansion this year. Maybe uh, in Halloween, but that'll it'll all depend on exactly when uh, the third one comes out. Because I might stream that too. Uh, second game, no, no, 
you no comprendo. <laughs> Can't do it because 3DS is a stupid butt. And uh, long live the Switch. <laughs> well, let me know if you got an idea. I'll take suggestions. Scooby Doo. You know, I may just. I may just. That was something I had thought about. Like Zoink Scoop. I have to hit an unnaturally high volume to make this voice work, Scoop. I probably peaked the mic, Scoop. My compressor probably doesn't work that well, Scoop. Kinda kills my voice too. My throat. I need to stream some more Sonic. My adventureness has been slacking as well as much else. But as you know, adventure is still in the cards. As is Sonic 2 8-bit, I'm gonna do the Master System version soon. And ideally at a volume where you can actually hear me. <laughs> because it's like, because me streaming it before was like, Hey guys, welcome to my stream. How you doing? I, I was playing some video games over here. How you doing? And that's that's what that was like. I mean, it was only like a 15 minute teaser, but I still would have preferred if I could be heard. And I know that was a rhyme. Is that such a crime? I don't actually know where this other one is. This other triangle. Where is it? I don't know. Uh, there's this thing. This is what he was talking about. I'm gonna try to do the glitch. You may notice. Ah, oh, there you go. First try, even. This Mario game is a little buggy. Little bit. Cinematic camera. The tower enshrines the egg of the legendary sandbird. Actually, it not only holds the egg, it also keeps it warm. It's an incubator. You could have just said that it was an incubator. Mm, pardon me. There's a lot of text you're giving me, bro. I got supremely lucky with that trick. There's really nothing more to it than that. Just luck, luck, more luck, and then when you run out of luck, find some more luck. But I am glad that that was the case because I did not want to waste that much time on it. And I didn't. So instead, allow me to waste time on something equally meaningless. Actually, this is probably this is not meaningless. It leads to blue coins, which is, I mean, kind of meaningless, but at least it seems less meaningless. Also, there's a blue coin down there. I mean, you can kind of get a boost to your jump if you do like this, do that number. Eh. A lot of tightrope walking. Mario is joining the circus, joining the. Tropical Circus. You know, they probably could have gotten away with a circus level in this game. Or, I mean, I guess, you know, Pinna Park is close enough. Even though that's like a more of a fair. And it's even then it's more of a theme park. And even then it's Pinna Park. I mean, to help combat your fear of heights, just know that Mario has a jetpack. Heights are meaningless to this man. Okay, there's probably, like, birds somewhere. Hmm. 
Come here, birds. I need to splort you. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Now we have to wait for the bor the borb <laughs> to fly back to shore. Where'd it go? I missed it. Oh, there it is. Oh, I lost it again. 480 progressive scan. Why have you failed me? Nothing progressive about this scan. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. Come back. You know that ni neither Nintendo or Universal is going to actually think that hard about this part. Oh, hey. Blue Man. Blue Man Group. Give me, give me Kern. Give me the coin. But I'm telling you, I would pay good freaking money to get into a real life version of Pin Apart. I mean, it's even in Florida. I mean, granted, it's not really near any of Florida's beaches, but, uh, y you know. I need this. Yeah, not looking forward to the balloon mission. I'm not gonna lie to you there. Oh, there's a blue coin up on that tightrope. Like I said, first mission, it's not gonna be this bad on the other ones. Probably. Okay, give me the juice. Well, check. I'm just checking the time again. All right, now for a little bit more, a little bit more tropical blue coin hunting. Fall directly into the sand. I need more water, actually. Let me go get some. Actually, I can get some here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's, there's stuff in here. Hey, mister, a coin fell under the floorboards. If you're under there and can't see well, try pressing the Y button. Yes, son, that is a coin. Oh, and there's these guys, too, the Nokis. Now, this here is what we call a dune bud. Dune buds are odd plants that only appear on this beach. If you water them, strange things will happen. Oh yes, I'm quite aware, and I can harass you endlessly through this. But... You can also get that. But I must get... Before I continue with the actual mission, which I have, yeah, yeah, for a moment I had completely forgotten what mission it was I was actually supposed to be doing. Okay, I didn't know that was there. Works for me. <laughs> Putting my memory card through its paces. If I was playing this on a Wii, then I could have uh, emulated a memory card, but I decided against it. I decided, you know, I have I have a GameCube progressive option. I am going to freaking use it, and not just for Game Boy Advance either. Okay, now to do the exact opposite, but this time in reverse. But you know this is good. We get a good we get a good glimpse of the stage, not just where it's relevant to us, but just the whole stage. You have to really, you know, just soak in what this stage has to offer.
Yo, how you doing? Isle Delfino is often referred to as a slice of paradise on Earth. Planet confirmed to be Earth. And Gelato Beach? Why, it's the most sun-kissed shore. All of the local Piantas and Nokis just love to have festivals here. What's that, a festival? All right, let's get down. Yeah, this guy knows how to party. This guy knows what's up. Guys, protect me from the quack. Oh no! He has no clip on! Okay, I'll get two number nines. Luckily, this game has very good controls, or else this might be a soft lock. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, Cataquack. I'll remember you in therapy. Oh, nope. I'm dying. I'm dying. Alright, this is before the oxygen is actually separated. When there's something under here, I think there was something under here. Did I go? Can I go under here? Yeah. There's stuff. Stuff that I may achieve, including, yes, I thought, I thought that just that would be underneath. And behold, my correctness is unparalleled. I may have played this game before, it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible that this may not be a blind playthrough. I may have actually played it like three or four <laughs> different times. So, in closing, after playing it four times, I have come to the conclusion that Mario Sunshine actually sucks. It's a terrible game. Well, Miles, if you want your money back, then here's my advice. Uh, pledge to my Patreon, and then I can give you... I will have money, which I can give you back. Also, there's a blue coin over there, but I'm gonna go here first. Oh, and he stole my hose. Oh, here we go, here we go. You can pin pin down these nails, but why would why'd you would you bother ever? These nails only give you one up switch, don't mean a thing. You know, I think as a kid, I might have wondered, would I stop liking these missions as I got older? Would I stop thinking they were cool? And the answer is no, no I haven't. Yep, the OG floating block challenge. Aw, oh, original. It might not actually be the original, I don't know. But it's close enough for me. I almost jumped off the edge there. I'm just checking to make sure there's no cool stuff hidden just around the bend. Like a one-up. Woo, okay. Got the thing. We got the thing. Alright, and now back to Rico Harbor. To continue the chain. Hmm, pardon me. 
I am 90% sure that one didn't pick up, but better sorry than safe is what I always never say. Twenty percent battery remaining on my phone. That's what I always never say. Actually, I do say that constantly. Or my phone says it to me. Oh, a blooper surfing safari. You gonna bloop? Are you gonna bloop? Okay, which color bloop? Purple, yellow, or green? Which bloop? Which bloop we want? I'm gonna talk to these guys while you make your decision. <laughs> what you looking at, fella? I heard that there's a blooper surfing around here. Do you know where? Yes. But I will not tell you, for I am a jerk. Alright, get this meager coin. Alright, get this bang into the crate. All right, let's ride the green. Let's ride the green and eat a ween. No, not quite that. That's right, I'm the big daddy of bloopers, Servin. You like Servin? Hop on a blooper and give it a whirl. Oh, but one thing, I waive all liability for accidents. Now hang loose, bud. And then it's the fastest thing that's ever been in a Mario game. Oh, God. Oh, my lord. Oh, I missed the blue coin. You know what that means. Gotta go back. Gotta double back. And if you hit a wall, you die. I mean, it seems like solid uh, legal proceedings. Actually, that might have been it. That might have been the only one. No, wait, wait. I spy with my eye. Alright, let's get in there. You know, you could, you could do that. Or you could also do this. I don't actually know the path, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I don't, I don't remember, do you have to go over there? Do I have to, like, go over the corner here? There's nothing making sure. There is absolutely nothing assuring that you are actually on a blooper while you do this. So as long as you know where the load points are, and, the, and spoiler alert, I, I actually don't. But you can do it. I, I will have to, uh, restart my epic quest. Uh, go watch a video of somebody who actually knows how to do this. But it is possible to do the, the race without squidding. I'm gonna do it with squid, because I don't actually know where the... the oh, no, please, please shut that, I forgot to lock that. I forgot to lock my door. Oh no, give me blue. Oh, 
But yeah, you, if you know, if you know the waypoints, it can be done. Oh, I didn't know that that killed you. I probably should have. Now we must speed run the bloop course. Get on the turn, real nice. Don't hit the moving block. The moving block will make you. Uh, I was trying to think of something that rhymed with block. Oh no. <laughs> I I may be a fool and a rube. Let's go for purple. But uh, uh, this thing doesn't ever turn as sharp as I think it does. Nope, not allowed. Not allowed. Oh you, oh, you can't jump when you're on, uh... I thought you could jump, but I remembered immediately that you can't jump. Yellow. Yellow is the lucky color. It's the color of, uh... You cannot jump. On land, you cannot jump. I'm sorry, sir, but your information is invalid. Dustin needs to go get some food soon. Alright, super spiky turn. Do not hit the wall, or you will die. But you can do that all you want. You will not die if you do that. Okay, just boot, boot me out of the entire level. You know what? What the heck was this? I'm out of here. I am going back to Bonko Hills. What do you gotta say? Man that took the princess has some kind of brush. Is that what he used to draw graffiti, you think? Yeah, probably. I think it's an, a safe bet. The Hillside Cave Secret. Oh, more acapella coming up. You want acapella? I got you. We know what you want here at Super Mario Sunshine Island Delfino. Place is clean again. Now if we can just get the tourists to come back. I'm a tourist, but y'all don't, don't care about that. Okay, fine. I'm gonna talk to you. You know, I could talk to you people, but, you know, wh what do you look like? The, the NPCs in Sonic Adventure? I don't think so. I think not, my good, my good Parson. Not even a reward. Sometimes they give you rewards. These guys are stingy. I'll do the blooper race again in a little bit, probably. Maybe next stream, I don't know. Either way, it will be done. But I lost at it, and I, I got lazy. So instead, I'm doing this. Hey, I want to, I want to do the flowers. Give me the buds. Give me the buds. Give me the buds. No. No! Clack the stick in every which direction. I forgot it was just for uh, those. That's okay, I guess. 
continue on my adventure to the cave. Come on, come on, that was a... <laughs> that was only barely the slippery. No! Give... <laughs> Give me the fulminated mercury. How do you do this? I know how to do this. I, w I went to college. I actually didn't go to college. Maybe I went to college. You you'll never know. There we go. See? It's the easiest thing in the universe. Mario, if you slide off... If you slide off, I swear I will strangle you. There, there's stuff up there, but that's a different mission. Let's not worry about that. You know, the sound when he teleports away is almost a Mega Man noise, but not really. Unfortunately, you cannot long jump in this game. There's no l longable jumping. Now we really got the floating block challenge. Oh, okay. I was overconfident, and you know what they say about that. Two ass. All right. Now the <laughs> I can't believe I'm losing on this baby level for babies. You see, and it's stuff like that that's making it happen. <laughs> Alright, let's let's take this seriously. Give give ourselves an isometric I think I'm just used to it being like SpongeBob movie floating blocks. Okay. This one does not move. That is what we know. Okay. I've done it. I've almost j overshot the nail and jumped right off the course. That would have been something. Is there one up in one of these? Your lives probably reset when you turn off the game. Just gonna put that possibility out there. All right, but there is a one up up here. Oh, <laughs> I legitimately game overed on this stage. How did I manage to do that? I have no idea. I blame the heat, personally. I'm going to place all the blame on that. And none of it on myself. Wasn't there a blue coin down here that I didn't get? Am I stupid? Well, if there is, it's not there. I mean, in all fairness, I did grind for lives in Last Impact. Is 
this is this just for uh oh no there you do get coins from it but I wasn't sure if there were if any of those were blue could have been blue gotcha blue I mean, if I did, if I didn't grind for lives in Last Impact, I absolutely would have gotten like eight or nine game overs. Pretty much unavoidable that factoid. Okay, let's ride the lily pad. I am a frog. No, I gotta do the triple jump, Mayro. Mario, do the triple jump. Okay, the double jump might work too. Actually, no, it probably won't. It didn't. It didn't work, Mario. You gotta do the Mario. You gotta do the jump. I don't know if I actually got any height off of that at all. I realize that there is a better way to do this. There we go. There we go. Nope. Nope. Actually gotta get up on the platform. The, the mountain hill. Yeah, we saw this. We, we, we know. He stole... He stole my water bottle. My tsunami device has been taken. Yeah. Delfino is a bad town. It... <laughs> okay, that one was worth it for just how out of just how completely bizarre it was. Maybe I shouldn't get this life. Too bad I got it anyway. There we go. Okay, now back to Gelato. Gotta speed it up. Gotta speed up the travel time. Open salami! You see, it's funny because Mario, he is the Italian. Also, there's that guy sitting on the egg. And yes, that's what that is. Some weird things curled up on the tower to take a nap. This could endanger the legendary sandbird egg. Well, we cannot have that, so if you'll excuse me for a moment, I must go get a blue coin. Yeah, there's, I, I don't actually need to uh, shoot the level entrances, I don't think, but darn, it just feels so nice to do it. it really makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Also, what's funny is that chasing these uh, coin fish, for lack of a better term, is a lot harder if you play with the 60, 60 FPS patch. Because it, for some reason the coins are tied to the frame rate. Or at least those ones are. So they go a lot faster. They're still possible to get though. 
All right. Now, I need you to come here. Launch me. Give me the good, the, the good stuff. Okay, there's a blue coin up there, but I don't think I can get that yet. Okay, go, 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 Mario. Get up there. Oh, he's still quacking. He's still quacking over there. Yeah, you need, you need something. Anyway, let's deal with these guys. Oh, ho. The fight begins. I mean, can you really call it a fight? I mean, I guess it's kind of a fight. Oh yeah, reflective glass on the GameCube, you know, just because you can. Just because you can, really. Look at this. Look at this mess. I know a lot of modern games that don't do this. Heck, heck, I, I don't think most other Mario games do this. Okay, goodbye to one. Let's get rid of the other. Not enough. The balance needs to be further shifted. No, get off. Get off of my cloud. Alright, now for number three. Number three is the way to be. Commentary is good, so you go eat some food. Don't grow the stairs, because I don't cares. Spray them all and make them fall. There we go. I'm not entirely sure why that knocks the thing off. I guess it just gets too hot. It's a little too hot to handle. Foot. Let's just rejuvenate my water for no real, no real good reason. Cataquacks actually haven't appeared in any game since Mario Kart Wii, which is a darn shame. They were the boys, after all. Okay, now we're going back. We're going back to Blooper Town, USA. Let's not stop to talk to more people. Just go right in there. Petition Nintendo to bring back Cataquax 2087 2019 87 
All right, this time we're blooping. We're doing the bloop. We're doing it right. And once again, I am not actually. I'm not gonna do the cheese because I don't actually know how to do it, which is important for when you're doing a cheese that you know where the cheese is in the refrigerator. Otherwise, your nachos are going to be very plain. Ah, Mario, stop overshooting the blooper. And now, total silence. I clipped that, but I did not die. Little miracles. Oh yeah, you can just do this. There we go. Alright, well we got that at least. Okay, stream's probably going to stop soon. I might do one or two more shines. But I think it would be a good start. Oh. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's go to the park. We're going to the park. We're going to the amusement land, boys. Princess has been kidnapped again. Mario. Don't tea pose. Don't stick my own tongue out at me. Uh, well, at least I think mine ain't that long. Got like a regular old Gene Simmons going on here. Animation. That is Pina Island. The villain's secret hideout must be there. Of course. Returning directly to his secret hideout. Why didn't I think? Mecha Bowser appeared. What? Bowser's not in this game. Can't have a mecha version of someone who's not in this game. And there's those guys there all over there. I'm not even gonna pay any attention to them. Also, how loud? Just like loud relic like how how loud are we talking here? How loud was it? Is the game too loud? I hope not. Oh look, it's these guys. It's the other boys. How did I not see it before? He's a waterbender. Or, you know, the floor's opening. That too. <laughs> what happened? Did the perpetrator get away? Um, not quite, no.
Amazing, what a spectacle. Is this a new show of ours? You guys are great. Whoever hired you needs a raise. I love how you play the fearless hero and he's like a bad version of you, but you, but you both look the same and stuff. Well, as director of this park, I want to ensure your success. So how about I provide you with a hero's vehicle? Follow me. One of my favorite songs in this game. Of some of the weirdest gameplay. And really keeping in theme with this game. Really wacky looking bullet bill. Leave me alone, bullet. Bill approaches from the front. Hit him. No, dang it, I missed. Do I missed? And yes, I realize he might actually be saying, so I missed. Fit a man. Leave me alone, mom. Oh, no. I wasted my missile on you. I know a bullet bill approaches from behind, but I need to shoot the guy. Oh, wow. I managed to hit him from this distance away. Now, oh, hang on. Hang on. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Let me shoot. Dang it, I missed him. It's your fault. I blame you. I just want to shoot. Just give me the shoot. Okay, this Bowser robot has now seen better days. You know, I think Bowser, they could make Bowser look like that in the main games. Like, how are you going to shoot anything with this? I can't shoot, you can't, I can't aim up. Oh wait, I can't aim up. It's just inverted. I'm an idiot. Aha, I, I got it. Oh, okay, there we go. Take that, Dr. Robotnik. Mario! Alright, so next I think it's, uh, Sky Deck. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm missing two his knuckles here. What? Who are you? This unique character I've never seen before. Leave my mama alone, you bad man. I won't let you take Mama Peach away. Mama? This is kind of one of those things that you should. This is one of those things that you should probably know. Saw that coming. Yeah, this game had a very, a fairly, uh, 
you know, unorthodox Mario plot, but we gotta get it in there somewhere. It appears to be heading toward Corona Mountain. So, originally when I was like a little kid, I thought that when he talks about, uh, you know, Egad, the old man in a white coat, I thought to progress the plot you had to find Egad somewhere. But no, Egad's not in this game. Also, check it out. It, it's the level I was just at, and the other level I was just at, and an M. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get the M. I like how you can see the other levels from the other levels. Everybody said that, but it really is cool, dang it. They say it because it's rad. And you can even see uh, a later level in the game, just very, very faintly at the top of the hill there. I think that's probably what that is. Anyway, since I'm a little hungry, I think that's a good place to end. I feel like that's a good story point to end it. I mean, I only got 11 shines, but a lot happened. Uh, and, uh, Toadsworth is here and he's not happy. But he can, uh, wait till next time. When we do more stuff. The plot has progressed very much, but we have also done a very small fraction of the game. So... See you next time, maybe in a week or so, after I get done doing the other stuff I want to do. And, uh, maybe we will do more stuff. We will do a larger fraction of the game. Goodbye to you, sirs.